Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 26. Listen carefully. The Bible says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the papa worm, my great army which I sent among you. 26. The Bible says, And you shall eat plenty, say amen, and be satisfied, say amen, and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall, not be, shall never be ashamed. Say, oh Lord, give me the solution to any problems I'm facing in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, give me the solution to any problem I'm facing in life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams. If you are looking to the right channel for dreams interpretation, this is the right channel. What are we discussing today? Our topic is dream of car being stolen. Dream of car being stolen. Car theft is a criminal act under any given law. Criminals have used several, have adopted several gadgets and various means to steal a car. Have been entered into people's home to boggle cars to steal away car body parts. That is why you see so many people today, car owners, adding extra layer security to their cars. When we are talking about cars, we are talking about several minutes. When we are talking about cars, we are talking about <coughs> reputation. When we are talking about car, we are talking about career. When we are talking about car, we are talking about position. When we are talking about car, we are talking about finances. When we are talking about car, <coughs> we are talking about direction. When we are talking about car, we are talking about concentration. Praise the living Jesus. Have you, have you been dreaming about a car being stolen? If this is true, then it is something that even though you have a car in the real life, it is your curiosity that will make you to go and check if your car is still intact in your waking life. Praise the living Jesus. When you are dreaming about a car being stolen, it means it symbolizes your ability to make a right de decision. When we are dreaming about a car being stolen, it means that you have to take control of your situation. A car, a vehicle cannot move without the driver. Even though you see so many passengers in the car, in the vehicle, and the, and the, car, and the driver's seat is vacant, there's no way that car will move. Which means that the car driver has the power to control, has the power to direct, has the power to organize, has the power to take people to the place of their destination. Praise the living Jesus. So for the purpose of this broadcast, we shall be going into some meanings about a car being stolen. As a Christian, what have been stolen in your life? Is it joy, happiness, your marriage, your position, your promotion? What are those things which the Bible has said in the, in the book of Joel chapter 20 that it will restore everything the canker, the papa, the caterpillar has eaten in your life? Is it that testimony, that breakthrough, that victory? Today, everything, the God of restoration, Jesus Christ rose up the third day. He will restore you back in the name of Jesus. We have several minutes about the car based on number one. Number one, it represents glory. When you are dreaming about a car being stolen, it means your glory has been stolen away. Number two, it represents destructions of reputation number three it represents loss of precious gifts the gift the blessings which the lord has given you have been stolen away number four it represents loss of position as a man you are losing your position you are losing your stand are you a man watching this broadcast you have been working in a certain organization for years no promotion they dream about car being stolen. It means that your promotion has been denied. You are a woman watching this broadcast now. And you dream 
about a car being stolen, it means that your happiness has been taken away. If you are a car owner watching this broadcast and you dream about a car being stolen, then it tells you that something that you attach so many important to, it could be your asset, your house, your buildings, and everything that is very peculiar to you. That dream is telling you that you are about to lose something. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 34, the Bible says, The righteous cry, the Lord heareth them, and deliver them out of their troubles. There's no how, when, a, when, a, when a, an ham robber invented a house and stole a car, the car owner will regret, will be crying. That is the agenda of the enemy, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I pray for you today. Every power that wants to destroy and steal your destiny. Today, they shall restore your destiny in the name of Jesus. In some cases, whereby you are dreaming, whereby your car is being stolen, then, as I said, it means you are losing so many good things in life. You are losing your direction. You are not taking control of your situation again. People are making mockery of your life. People around your environment, they are making mockery. Shame will come in. Disappointment will come in. Disgrace will come in. Somebody who is going forward, at the end of the day, somebody will be standstill. A car in your dream is something that has to do with asset. It's something that, that brings, that, that shoots the status of a man. When that thing is stolen away, it seems that the enemy has stolen your gift. In some cases, whereby your car is being stolen, when your car is being stolen, your car key is being stolen away, it means that somebody is taking something from you. Your car key, your car key in the dream is something that has to do with the instrument of your open doors. The car key has to do with the blessings of God. When somebody takes away that car key from you, it means that the person has now control over your life. The Bible says something. The Bible says, I am the God who opened the door and no man can shut. And when I shut, no man can open. So when automatically, when somebody is taking your khaki, snatching your khaki from you, it means that somebody has taken away your identity. Somebody away is taking away the blessings of God in your life. Now, the khaki does not mean that your khaki in the real life will be taken away. That khaki symbolizes, it could be your marriage, it could be your finances, it could be the profit in your business as a minister of God and your khaki is being stolen in the dream, then it tells you that that khaki is being stolen is talking about your anointing, your grace. If you are into a deliverance ministry, you are a deliverance minister and your khaki is being stolen away, it means that you will have no power to deliver, to heal, to, to, to deliver the oppressed people. In some cases, whereby you dream, in some cases whereby you dream, whereby you are, you, you are not finding your car again. The car is stolen. You are not finding your car again. That is a great disaster, tragedy. Now, the car is stolen. You don't even know where you parked the car. You are finding the car. Then it tells you that something is missing in your life. Something is, the enemy, the devourer has come into your life. Are you a Christian who, who is not faithful in, it, in, in your titan? You are not sowing your seed. You are not paying your offering. Automatically, you will be finding so many things in, in, in your dream. You will not be able to find them because the devourer has come to take away your finances, to take away your harvest. May you never experience that in Jesus' name. In some cases whereby, in some cases whereby someone, you discover that someone else is driving your car. When someone is driving your car, it means that somebody is taking control of your life. It means that somebody is directing you in the wrong part of life. Take for instance now, you are, you, you are under a leadership, under a person. And you discover that that leadership, the person in charge ahead of you, is not doing the right, is not a good leader. Automatically, that person will lead you astray. So when somebody is driving you in the dream, you don't know where you are going, that can bring confusion and disappointment at the edge of victory. I pray for you. Any stranger that is driving you to destruction, I command that stranger to die in the name of Jesus. Then in some cases, in some cases whereby you discover that your brothers stole your car when your brother stole your car or somebody stole your or somebody in your family relative stole your car then you have to be very very careful you are going to experience some losses among your family members then tells you that a particular person is about to steal your money as a man as a, as a woman so if you can see that person then you have to pay close attention 
to that person's activity. Then in some cases, whereby you saw, you saw that your car, your stolen car is, is brought back. When your stolen car is brought back, that is a full recovery. Now, the, the car theft stole your car, but now you dreamt that the car, you can able to get that car back, then it means that whatever the enemy has stolen away from you has been, has been recovered, has been restored back to you. I pray for you today. The God of restoration will restore your destiny, will restore your marriage, will restore your happiness in the name of Jesus Christ. In some cases whereby you discover that a car is stolen in the street, your car is stolen in the street, your car is stolen in the road, your car is stolen in the church, then that tells you that where if, for example, now you have a car in the real life, it's telling you that you need to add extra security to your car. If you're a car owner, you discover that your car has been stolen in the street, in the, on the road, or in the church, or elsewhere, or outside the public place. If you don't have a security on your car, it's telling you for you to add a security. It may be your car. It may be your children. It may be your asset. It may be your wealth. It may be your prosperity. It may be your position. It may be your career. It may be your business, your ministry. You need to pray that God should protect your possession. Praise the living Jesus. Then in some cases whereby, in some cases whereby you discovered where you park your car is stolen. Where you park your car is being stolen. Then it's passing a message. That message is passing, it means that the environment where you are is not safe for your destiny. That car can also represent you as a person. That car can also represent a ministry. That car can also represent a business. When you park a car in a particular parking space and it's being stolen, then automatically, according to that dream, it tells you that you have to start praying for restoration. Praise the living Jesus. So, when we are dreaming about a car being stolen, then you have to put into consideration the glory of God in your life, your spiritual gift, the fruit of your spirit, you have to pay them into a consideration because the enemy can use this car stolen in the dream to steal your peace, to steal your joy, to steal the love of your life, to steal your, spirit, your spiritual gift, which is the prayer, your tongues, which is the interpretation of dreams and tongues, and so many things. So you have to start praying for restoration. In fact, full restoration. So what are the way out? The way out is to be born again. The way out is to live a life of absolute obedience to God. The way out is to never give in to fear and depression. According to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the way out is to seek God and let Him show you the way. The way out is to learn to give out the most powerful seed. The way out is to cast your burdens to God. Instruction. Instruction. Embark on two days fasting and prayers between 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Say, everything the enemy has stolen from my life, I repossess them by fire. I repossess them by fire. Everything that the enemy has stolen from my life, I repossess them by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, glory robbers. What are you doing with my destiny? Glory robbers. What are you doing with my destiny? Return them by fire. Return them by fire. Return them by fire. Glory robbers. What are you doing with my destiny? Return them by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to shout this prayer point like a wounded lion. Say, whether the devil like it or not, I must own a car in the name of Jesus. This is especially for those who don't have a car. Say, whether the devil like it or not, I must own a car in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, every agenda of the enemy against my marriage, against my finances, against my children, against my ministry, against my business, against my foundation. Da, 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 da. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessed by that dreams are by prayers. Write your dreams, pointing to dream about car being stolen. We shall interpret them. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.